Science Grade 5, Quarter 3, Module 6. Week 6, Factors Affecting the Strength of Electromagnet. After going through this module, you are expected to A. Identify the parts of an electromagnet. B. Identify the ways by which the materials can be connected to produce a good electromagnet. C. Construct a simple electromagnet. Direction, A. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. 1. A magnet is blank. A. A wooden figure. B. A magnetic force. C. An object that allows light to pass through. D. An object that attracts or pulls certain materials like iron and steel. 2. To strengthen an electromagnet, there is a need to blank. A. Decrease the voltage. B. Increase the number of turns in a coil. C. Put a non-magnetic substance in the coil. D. All of the above. 3. Which part of electromagnet supplies electric current? A. Battery B. Nail C. Switch D. Wire 4. Which is an example of a temporary magnet? A. Bar magnet B. Electromagnet C. Horseshoe magnet D. Magnetite 5. Which from the following materials can be used as a core in making on? Electromagnet a plastic ruler B plastic straw C screwdriver D wood stick Direction, B write yes if the statement is correct or no if not. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. 1. The strength of an electromagnet cannot be increased. 2. In constructing an electromagnet, we can use any material as core. Three. The electric current has nothing to do with the strength of an electromagnet. 4. The coils should loop in one direction only. 5. Electromagnet will function by letting electricity flow through it. Direction, A. Arrange the jumbled letters in column A to form the word being described in column B. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. Direction, B. Write at least 5. 5. Things that use electricity. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. Lesson 6. Factors affecting the strength of electromagnet. An electromagnet is a type of magnet in which the magnetic field is produced by an electric current. The magnetic field disappears when the current is turned off. Electromagnets usually consist of a large number of closely spaced turns of wire that create the magnetic field. You have just made a magnet by using electricity. When you disconnected one end of the wire from the battery, the current did not flow anymore. The nail could no longer attract the pins. Its magnetic force was gone. An electromagnet can have magnetic force only when electric current is flowing through it. Linda is in her fifth grade and she is very excited to attend to her science class because it's her favorite subject. One day, their teacher asked them to bring any kind of magnet as their assignment. So, she brought a horseshoe magnet. When the teacher began to check their assignments, she noticed that all her classmates also brought a horseshoe magnet, except James who brought a piece of wire, a nail and a battery. Then. She got confused because only James' assignment received commendation from their teacher. When she got home, she made a research and found out that James brought a kind of magnet that requires electricity to function, which is an electromagnet. What is an electromagnet and what are the factors that determine its strength? A nail is not a magnet, but it can be turned into one. This is done by coiling a wire around it and then letting electricity flow through it. Doing this, turns the nail into an electromagnet.
A simple electromagnet can be made using a dry cell, battery, a nail and a piece of wire. It is a temporary magnet that uses electricity to function. It attracts like a real magnet. It can attract materials made of metals like pins and thumbtacks. But unlike ordinary magnets, it can be turned on and off. The iron nail serves as the core and acts as magnet while electricity is flowing through the coil of wire. When electricity stops flowing through the coil to the nail, it can no longer attract metals. Electromagnets are used in doorbells, buzzers, televisions, and telephones. A crane that lifts heavy objects also uses an electromagnet. The strength of an electromagnet is determined by the following factors. Material used as core. The core is the part of the electromagnet that receives electricity. In the above. Example, the nail acts as the core. Iron is the best core material. The size of the core also matters. The greater the size of the iron core, the stronger magnetism an electromagnet has. Number and Direction of Coils An increase in the number of coils increases the strength of an electromagnet. Each turn of the wire adds more force to the electromagnet. The more coils that surround the core, the greater is the magnetic field. The coils should loop in one direction only. If the coils loop in different directions, the magnetic fields in both directions cancel each other. Electric Current Another factor that contributes to the strength of an electromagnet is the amount of electric current supplied. A greater supply of electric current produces a stronger electromagnet. Guided Activity 1 Electromagnet Model Science Skills Observing, Inferring Time Frame, 20 Minutes What You Need Iron Nail large and small electric wire 300 centimeters long two batteries three volts thumbtacks pins screwdriver do these note be careful in handling all the materials one make an electromagnet by winding the electrical wire around the large nail two Connect both ends of the wire to a dry cell. 3. Test the electromagnet by placing some pins and thumbtacks near the nail. Does the nail attract the pins and thumbtacks? 4. Now, win more coils of wire to the nail. Which setup attract more metals? 5. Add more dry cells to the electromagnet. Make sure you connect the dry cells properly. Which setup attracts more metals? 6. Change the iron nail into a smaller one. Which setup attracts more metals? Direction, answer these, write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. How do the following factors affect the strength of an electromagnet? A. Number of coils B. Number of dry cells used C. Size of nails Guided Activity 2 Direction, write the word true if the statement is correct or false if it is incorrect. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. 1. Electromagnet is a permanent magnet that can attract any metal or magnetic material. 2. The number of coils of wire affects the magnetism of an electromagnet. More coils of wire means less magnetism. 3. An electromagnet can be made stronger by adding more coils of wire. 4. When electricity stops flowing through a coil of wire, the nail continues attracting any metal or magnetic material. 5. An electromagnet may be produced by making electricity flow through a coil of wire wound around an iron nail. 6. Nothing can be done to increase the strength of an electromagnet. 7. Electromagnet is important in our everyday life. 8. By using smaller core, 
we can increase the strength of an electromagnet. 9. Telephones, buzzers and doorbells use an electromagnet. 10. The coils should loop in one direction only. Guided Activity 3. Direction, draw and label the parts of an electromagnet. Use a separate sheet of paper. Guided Activity 4. Direction, list 5 appliances, devices in your home that use electromagnet. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. Direction, complete the statement below by choosing the correct answers from the given choices in the box. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. Core. Electromagnet. Nail. Wire. Electric current. Off. Nail. Number of turns of wire. Stop. Battery. A magnet that operates through electricity is in, one, blank. Unlike ordinary magnets it can be turned on and, two, blank. A simple electromagnet can be made using a, three, blank, four, blank, and a piece of, five, blank. The, six, blank serves as the core and acts as magnet while electricity is flowing through the coil of wire. When electricity stops flowing through the coil to the nail, it will, seven, blank attracting metals. The factors that affect the strength of an electromagnet are the, eight, blank, nine, blank, and the, ten, blank. Direction, write at least two, two, advantages and disadvantages of using electromagnet. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. Advantages Disadvantages Direction, choose the letter of the correct answer. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. 1. An electromagnet functions when blank. A. You put a bulb into it. B. Electricity flows through it. C. Two objects rub together. D. You use a horseshoe magnet. 2. Which of the following is true about electromagnets? A. They don't need a battery. B. They are permanent magnets. C. Increasing the number of coils makes the electromagnet stronger. D. Increasing the number of battery makes the electromagnet weaker. 3. What is needed to make an electromagnet? A. A nail, battery and a piece of wire. B. A bulb, battery and a piece of wire. C. A switch, piece of wire and a nail. D. A battery, switch and a piece of wire. 4. How can you make an electromagnet stronger? A. By using a bigger core. B. By adding switch into it. C. By increasing the length of a wire. D. Nothing can be done to increase the power of an electromagnet. 5. Which of the following electromagnets can attract the most number of thumbtacks? A. One with 10 coils. B. One with 20 coils. C. One with 25 coils. D. One with 30 coils. 6. What part of electromagnet receives electricity and acts as a magnet? A. Battery B. Core C. Switch D. Wire 7. Which from the following materials can be used as core in making an electromagnet? A. Plastic ruler B. Plastic straw C. Screwdriver D. Wood stick 8. In which of the following materials can you make a stronger electromagnet? A. One with 20 coils, two dry cells, wood as core. B. One with 20 coils, one dry cell, one big iron nail. C. One with 20 coils, two dry cells, plastic as core. D. One with 20 coils, one dry cell, one small iron AI. 9. 
What will happen when electricity stops flowing through a coil of wire? A. The core will burn. B. Nothing will happen to the core. C. The core will stop attracting metal. D. The core will continue attracting metal. 10. Which of the following materials uses an electromagnet? A. Ball and bat. B. Pen and paper. C. Fork and spoon. D. Telephone and radio.